Earlham has the busiest unstaffed railway station in Greater Manchester. It's seen 25% growth in passengers in the last three years. So what do commuters think of it? Well, it's supposed to be one at half past and there isn't one here in the minute. What time is it now? It's now 22. <laughs> it's supposed to be awake at nine, so it's a bit worrying. But Does that sort of thing happen often? Uh, sometimes. Is... The annoying thing is that you don't know what's happening. That's the thing, unless you ring. Coming home at night or even in the morning, there's just not enough space on the train itself. Local MP Ian Stewart and Northern Rail boss Heidi Mottram met commuters on the station to hear their concerns. I think uh, Northern, the train operator uh, that we have here, um, with government grants is going to increase the uh, train stock by around 40% is my information. Now that's, that will be a tremendous benefit in the future. Almost as fast as we're investing in them, then more people are coming because our services are more punctual. Are you looking for government money then to actually improve your services? Well yes, the way, the way that this franchise works, it's basically a local um, train service and our fares um, are subsidised by local government and by central government and so to get together the funding um, simply through the fare paying passenger to invest in additional services doesn't really generate the uh, enough revenue so we do have to work with both local and central government if we're going to be able to invest in, in additional resources. Taxpayers' cash for Northern Rail would not be part of the Transport Innovation Fund or TIF bid that's linked to a proposed congestion charge for Greater Manchester. The TIF bid is absolutely fundamental to moving the public transport infrastructure and system in Greater Manchester to a new level. We can't ask people to stop using their cars until public transport is better.